Hovitec. Just a button away. In this video tutorial, I'll be explaining how to root a Hisense A5 Pro CC. Uh, first, you need to have unlocked your bootloader. I will link to a guide on how to do that. Um, once you've done that, you, are go to, you, you also need the um, Linux or Ubuntu. Um, you are going to use a combination of Windows and Ubuntu to get this done. So you can set up your Ubuntu anyhow you want to do. I'm using VMware um, for mine. I'll link to a guide on how to set up VMware on your Windows PC. You can also use Linux USB, however you prefer. So first thing you have to do is um, I'll, you open this folder, I'll zip this folder. It will be included in the um, in the guide. So on a high level, let me walk you towards on this folder. Uh, first, you have the avb2.py. This is um, for Python version 3. Um, you have a list of commands um, which you also be able to follow um, up with. Um, you have the dump boot .bat. This is this will be run in Windows. This to extract the boot image from the Hisense um, device. And of course, you have the RSA PM. This is to sign the boot image in Linux. So the first thing we do is we want to extract the boot image. So you run this here. And then you power off your device. You hold both volume buttons, um, both volume buttons and power button. That's three buttons together. While it is off, then connect it to your PC. Okay, I done. My virtual machine is clashing with this, so uh, maybe I'll just. Okay, I think I could leave it. Let's see again. I was having the clash between my virtual machine and my host. Yes. So you just wait while this extracts the boot image from the device. All right, so once that is done, you have your boot image here and the device is going to reboot. Now, the next thing you do is you install Magisk Manager on your phone and then you patch this boot image using Magisk Manager. I'll link to a guide on how to do that. Now, once you've patched it, you copy that patched boot image to your PC. This is mine here. So I'll just move it over here. I think I can disconnect this here. All right, so I have my patch boot image here now. So the next thing I have to do is to sign this patch boot image because if you flashed it to your device directly this way, it's going to break it. So you need to sign it. Okay, so that, that is where um, Ubuntu comes into the equation. So over here now, I have 
have set up shared folders and all of that you can look up guide on how to set up um shared folders on your ubuntu um, between um, your windows guest windows host and your ubuntu guest um now i'm in this place so i'm going to open terminal here so you have a commands.txt here this this is a list of commands you will run now first i need to extract the information about this boot image that's one i extracted from the device directly so i'll copy this and paste here i'm running on python version 3 here all right so now what you want to do is copy out this image size here and you paste it where you have this here partition size so you just replace that make sure the size is match now once they match um, you are going to run this command don't forget i'm running python version 3 on my own so if you are running python version 2 make sure you get the avb2 for python version 2 you can get that at our forum but this is the one for um, python version 3 so make sure you get the right avb2 for your python version so i'll copy this command and this is going to sign the magisk patched boot image so that is done and now i have this here signed so um that's that for um the ubuntu section i think i can just shut this down here so i don't have a conflict between my windows and my um virtual machine so um this is signed i can confirm that last modified about a minute ago so now um we come back to this place and this is where you run the other command so now i'll be flashing this to my device so um you have your platform tool set up on windows you can decide to flash a new ubuntu that is that is really up to you but i'll just flash mine in windows so You need to ensure your USB debugging, uh, debugging is enabled. Let me confirm that quickly. No, it's not enabled. So I'll do that quickly. All right, so I've toggled it on. Just in case you are wondering um, how to do that, you go under your settings um, about, no, sorry, hold on. Yeah, settings about phone. Then um, you keep tapping your kernel version. I think between software version and kernel version, it's one of the two of them. So once you keep tapping one of those two, you have your um, the problem that you've been, you're not a developer. So you go back, you, you now go under settings, other settings, then you will have your developer options from there. You toggle you toggle OEM unlocking. Sorry, USB debugging. So um I'm going to rerun. Oh sorry. Alright, so I have this.
Alright, so that's how to route your iSense A5 Pro CC.